out and about on a lovely Monday morning here in Singapore with Kavya Gopal. Hi, Kavya. Hi. <laughs> Kavya, I was going to say, is a rising junior, but really she's just a junior straight up and down, and in six days is going to fly off because she's studying abroad at Columbia. So we're losing her for a semester. That's awful, but no worries because we can get breakfast uh, before she flies. We're here in the wonderful uh, Tolok Blanga uh, estate in the Tolok Blanga Rise Market and Food Center. Adding the chai po, adding what looks like, is that garlic? Some oil, at some point we'll add some chili. Here goes the chili. Yes, please, yes, please. We'll fry it all around. This carrot cake, one of the very best that I've had in recent memory, maybe ever, and I think the key is a lot of the salted preserved radish, the chai po. Right, carrot cake, fundamentally, is cubes of radish cake. These little white cubes here, right? So it's, it's not carrot, but as you see on the sign there, right? You see those, those white, what we call Japanese daikon radishes, right? So, so it's a radish cake. But then you add to it tiny little chunks of salted radish, the chai po, and, and this auntie has added a bunch of chai po and chili and green onion and egg, and it's a, it's a fabulous combination. Okay, we've blasted off in a taxi to Tlokbanga Drive because we have to settle a controversy. I'm not sure that there are two food centers at Tlokbanga Drive, so Kavi and I are gonna go explore. Okay, we're on the hunt for block 82, as you can see right there. This is block 79, and I've been here before. I got excellent fishball noodle one time. Uh, but is there a block 82 behind? Are there really two food centers here? We're gonna find out. We figured out what's going on. 82 Teloglanga Drive Market, not food center. Block 82 is only the market, wet market, right? So this means where you can get your fresh meat, you can get your vegetables, other provisions. That's in here. Over there, block 79, that's the food center. So I think NEA is, is a little bit off base labeling 82 as a separate food center. It's not, it's just 79 is the food center, 82 is the market, and together they're Teloglanga Drive Market and Food Center. But two food centers, there are not. Okay, lunch number one of at least two, possibly one of three, here with inaugural round student, a uh, rising senior, Jared Yo. Okay, we are here at Sims Vista, Market and Food Center. Uh, neither Jared nor I have been here before. This is our replacement for Northbridge Road, which was closed for spring cleaning. Uh, so we, we didn't do any research, right? So we don't know what's good here. We've never been. So we're using the age old Singaporean technique, not rocket science. The stalls with the longest queues are the best stalls. Of course, this is a problematic technique. This is groupthink at its worst. But maybe it's useful. Maybe all these other people know what they're talking about. So here I am in the fish soup queue. We have Hawker Staples. So I will introduce mine. I got a classic uh, sliced fish soup. Uh, with bihun, the fat kind of bihun. You see these noodles are relatively thick. There's a really thin bihun and then thick one. Uh, and then you have some lettuce, uh, some garlic, some chili, uh, and and um, something I get relatively infrequently because it is soup and soup is hot and Singapore is hot. So I get extra red and sweaty when I eat fish soup, but that's okay because it's delicious. And now Jared will introduce you to his foods. Okay, so we have duck rice here. Um, this is the braised duck rice, and I got the um, the chest, yes. The breast meat, because that's the best part of the duck. And this is kuei chap. So this is made out of different uh, pork innards. And this is the noodles, the kuei, which is the made out of kuei tiao noodles, but the slightly thicker ones. Uh, roti jala at Aisha's house. And we have three layers of, as Caroline calls them, the lacy pancakes, and then one unfolded lacy pancake on top. And this, we're told, is the traditional presentation. Oh man, guess what? Scott and I are on the way to the LRT, light rail transit. Would you believe it? Right? They only have LRTs in Pungol, the Chua Chu Kang, and here at Bukit Panjang. I know, I know. Thanks, Scott. We're going up the escalator. Hey, these run on wheels. Rubber wheels. This is like the Paris Metro. Look at these turnstiles. What technique. Holy cow. We're here underneath the LRT tracks looking at Bukit Panjang Food Center. It's unique. See there, NTUC Food Fair, Social Enterprise. This is one of two food centers owned by the government on the official NEA list. 
but managed by social enterprises. See how the tables are so different? See this? See these chairs? These are not, these are not typical food center chairs or tables at all. All right, ladies and gents, Scott will now tell us about his food. I've got some pretty good duck noodles, but I mean, the real prize is in front of you, my man. Oh boy. Okay, first off, look at this branded, branded plates and bowls. Bukit Panjang Parker Center and Market. This doesn't exist at non social enterprise managed food centers, certainly. I have mixed vegetable rice, Typhon, with pork chop, braised pork, pumpkin, but then this is something I haven't had in months, maybe years pad thai. What is pad thai called in English? Stink bean. Why? Because, because it kind of stinks and tastes funky. But it's awesome. It's awesome. If you could taste it, you'd love it. Damn, folks, I'm not kidding. This is extra intense stink bean. All right, final words, Bukit Panjang Food Center. For me, man, I will remember that stink bean for a long time. That was potent. Yeah, far flung, but well worth it. Make the trek out here as soon as you can. Do it.